Hello, everyone. Sue Anishchuk here, continuing the workbook lessons of uh, A Course in Miracles. And uh, thank you for being here. Today, uh, we will be on uh, or addressing lesson 127. And today's lesson is, there is no love but God's. And it says, perhaps you think that different kinds of love are possible. Perhaps you think there is a kind of love for this, a kind of love for that, a way of loving one, another way of loving still another. Love is one. It has no separate parts, no degrees, no kind, no kinds, nor levels, no divergences, divergencies, and no distinctions. It is like itself, unchanged throughout. It never alerts, it never alters with a person or a circumstance. It is the heart of God and also of his son. Love's meaning is obscured to anyone who thinks that love can change. He does not see the changing love must be impossible. Or it says again, he does not see that changing love must be impossible. And thus, he thinks that he can love at times and hate at other times. He also thinks that love can be bestowed on one and yet remain itself, although it is withheld from others. To believe these things of love is not to understand it. We try to understand it. If it could make such distinctions, it would have, have to judge between the righteous and the sinner and perceive the Son of God in separate parts. Love cannot judge. As it is one itself, it looks on all as one. Its meaning lies in oneness. And it must elude the mind that thinks of it as partial or in part. There is no love but God's. And all of love is his. There is no other principle that rules where love is not. Love is a law without an opposite. Its wholeness is the power holding everything as one. The link between the father and the son, which holds them both forever as the same. No course whose purpose, whose purpose is to teach you to remember what you really are could fail to emphasize that there can never be a difference in what you really are and what love is. Love's meaning is your own and shared by God himself. For what you are is what he is. There is no love but his. And what he is, is everything there is. There's no limit placed upon himself. And so are you unlimited as well. There's no limit placed upon God. God is limitless. And so are we. But when we are, you know, living from the scarcity principle of this world, that is the first sign right there that we are not in the space of God, in the space of love. And this is, again, what we're learning. This lesson is really giving us the depth of love. 
and we're far from really understanding what this is. As we undo the ego, we will experience more and more of it. I say we will because as long as, again, I, I address this often, I've been doing this course, I'm still learning. This, this, these lessons, this course brings you more and more into being your authentic self. And, you know, it addresses special relationships. And it distinguishes a special relationship from a holy relationship. And a holy relationship is based on love. And a special relationship is based on ego. And the ego gives to get. So we're undoing all that, really taking an inner, inward journey here to take a look at where are we, where am I, where do I, where do you give love to get? It takes some deep reflection. You may not be getting this at this point. I continue to learn. My desire and my willingness is to truly live from there is no love but God's. And all that God asks is that you have a willingness to bring this into your space, into your life. We've been resisting love because we have been so much in the ego thought system, ego thought system, caught up in the special relationships. I mentioned earlier, or I shouldn't say earlier, but in the last video it was brought to um, your attention and um, it was brought to my attention to remind you how important it is to be studying the text as you're doing the lessons to really get grounded in the principles. And there is a lot to undo. And, you know, where you are being triggered in any form at all is actually a gift because it's showing you where you're triggered by another human being, by another individual. It's showing you the area or showing you a part of yourself uh, that um, is there to be healed. It's your unconscious guilt coming, coming to the surface. So when we read this in the depths of love, again, it may seem somewhat uh, foreign or, or difficult to really grasp, but trust that, um, you know, as long as you have the willingness to continue on, and to do these lessons that you will more and more uh, get uh, the experience, the understanding and the experience of this. Okay, so I'll start again on paragraph four. No course whose purpose is to teach you to remember what you really are could fail to emphasize that there can never be a difference in what you really are and what love is. We are love. We are made in the image and likeness and um, the image and likeness of God. So are our brothers and sisters. And we are bringing this the principles of the course into our lives so that we see the love in our brothers and sisters. Love's meaning is your own and shared by God Himself. For what you are is what he is. Again, we are love. And there is no love but his, but God's. And what he is, is everything there is. There is no limit placed upon himself, upon God. And so are you unlimited as well. No law the world obeys can help you grasp love's meaning. What the world believes was made to hide love's meaning and to keep it dark and secret. And there is not one principle the world upholds, but violates the truth of what love is 
and what you are as well. Seek not within the world to find yourself. That's your higher self. Love is not found in darkness and in death. Yet it is perfectly apparent to the eyes that see and the ears that hear love's voice. That's a voice with a capital V. Today we practice making free our mind of all the laws you think you must obey, of all the limits under which you live and all the changes that you think are part of human destiny. And here it says, today, we take the largest single step, this course requests in advance towards its established goal. If you achieve, if you achieve the faintest glimmering of what love means today, you have advanced in distance without measure and in time beyond the count of years to your release. Let others or let us to, together then be glad to give some time to God today and understand there is no better use for time than this. So important to take, it says here for 15 minutes twice today. Those are precious 15 minutes to take on. It says, escape from every law in which you now believe. And it's to open your mind and rest. The world that seems to hold you prisoner can be escaped by anyone who does not hold it dear. Withdraw all value you have placed upon its meager offerings and senseless gifts and let the gift of God replace them all. It says here to call to the Father, certain that his voice will answer. We're not going to hear though if we're caught up in all of you know what we see in the world. Because a lot the world's meaning, as it says there, it it or the world um, has made is uh, was made to hide love's meaning and to keep it dark and secret. Call to your father again, certain that his voice will answer. He himself has promised this, and he himself will place a spark of truth within your mind. Wherever you give up a false belief a dark illusion of your reality and what love means. We, you know, it's to be open to recognize that belief so that it, that belief can be released to the Holy Spirit. And as it says here, you know, a, a spark of truth um, will show up in your mind. Again, I'll read that. He He's promised, uh, this that his voice will answer you and he himself will place a spark of truth within your mind where whenever you give up give up the false belief a dark illusion of your own reality and what love means he will shine through your idle thoughts today and help you understand the truth of love in loving gentleness he will abide with you as you allow his voice to teach love's meaning to your clean and open mind. A clean mind is releasing the illusion, releasing the false beliefs, releasing the false image that you've taken on. And he will bless the lesson, this lesson with his love. Today, the legion of the future years of waiting for salvation disappears before the timelessness of what you learn. Let us give thanks today that we are spared a future like the past. Today, we leave the past behind, never more to be remembered. We keep bringing the past into the present moment and we keep creating a future of the past. 
It's saying here to leave the past behind. That means to forgive it, to let it go. Forgive yourself for anything from the past. And raise, your, raise open your eyes upon a different present where a future dawns upon the past in a new attribute. The world is, in infancy is newly born and we'll watch it, we will watch it grow in health and strength to shed its blessing upon all who come to learn to cast aside the world they thought was made in hate to be love's enemy. Now are they all made free along with us? Now are they all our brothers in God's love? We will remember them throughout the day because we cannot leave a part of us outside our love if we would know ourselves. At least three times an hour, think of one who makes the journey with you and who came to learn what you must learn. And as he comes to mind, give him this message from yourself. I bless you, brother, with the love which I would share with you. For I would learn the joyous lesson that there is no love but God's and yours and mine and everyone's. We can't love one. And, and not love all. We can't love all and not love one. So it, it, what that means, if I've said it correctly, is it's learning to, it's bringing into loving everyone because we all are, we're all one. We're one mind, we're not private minds. What you think, what I think affects the all. That's why we're doing this here, this work together, healing together. And it is, it is a step-by-step -step process. But at any time that you heal, any time that I heal, it is affecting the, the, the whole. It is affecting everyone. So, so again, today I want to read from the, year of forgiveness again it's something i reflect on quite often and and i wanted to share that message with you too as well today so it says here remember that it's from the, the year of forgiveness by tina uh louise spalding who channels jesus and and here's what jesus says you are blessed beings indeed i am the one you know as jesus this, in this truth that there is no love but God's will clarify the heart and mind of all who attempt to believe it. We understand, Jesus says, that you have many different kinds of love that you believe exist on this earth plane. You know, the love of, the, of a mother for a child, the love of a musician for music, the love of a lover for, for the other person. But we want you to understand that the essence of true love never changes. Love is all that's real because love never changes. Anything that is changeable is unreal. So just take a look at the world and the ego thought system how changeable it is. And again, remembering it's all based in fear. We're either in a space of fear in our thought system and in our beliefs, or we're in a space of love, of truth, which is, which is God. God is love. We put a lot of labels around all of this, but the source of it is that fear or love. And we can't be in both places at the same time. Again, he goes on to say, the world in which you live is based on separation. That is the foundation of this place where we are here on earth. 
it is the default, default setting again of this place. You and I come from love. And that is why you and I do not feel like we belong in this world. That is why you view the world and know something has gone terribly wrong. You are made from love, for love, and by love. And your guidance system is connected to that invisible home. This is all an inward journey. It's all about inner peace. It's all about connecting to our heart. So Jesus goes on to say, it is invisible to you now because you live in the world and you value the world. Just look how much value you put on the world and on the idols of the world. You see that the more you witness death and the things uh, happening on your planet at this time, the worse you feel unless you focus on God's love. God's love is eternal. God's love is timeless. God's love is that which is in you that never changes. God's love gave you the opportunity to come into separation because you wanted to. You wanted to come in this separation, believe it or not. And again, it says, it seems insane. And as you look around yourself at this world, you know that to, that to be true, the insanity of the world. It says, this is a crazy place for you. Find yourself. This is a crazy place you find yourself in. But you do not want aspects of it. Do you not lust after aspects of it? Do you not chase after aspects of it? That is what you must look at here and ask yourself, is that what I want to spend my life doing? Do I want to spend my life chasing after the idols as the marketing systems of earth have trained me to do? that the education system of earth has trained me into? Or would I rather chase after the trip home? I do not mean in death. Death does not bring me relief. I mean in life, a pure, true life aligned with love. That is what brings you relief. And that is timeless. You existed before the body was born. Remember, we are spirit. And you will continue after this body passes away from its usefulness. The body is a means of communication only. We are not this body. That is love, the undivided, unconquerable, and unchangeable connection that you have with the divine. And he says, I am that one, you know, as Jesus. All right, go forward, do the best you can with today's lesson. Uh, I hope you, uh, you know, are uh, getting some value out of, out of these videos. And again, I really appreciate you being here. I know for myself, um, when I think back, when I started these videos, the beginning of the year, about 127 days ago, that I know that I have grown. And, and again, you know, it's, there's not enough words for me to say thank you um, or, or, or to express the gratitude that I have because as I continue uh, these, these lessons, I've grown. If I went back and looked at my first one, I'm sure I'll notice a big difference. And I really hear um, as I'm reading this lesson and reading the lessons as I go along, um, you know, to be more and more authentic. And, and, um, and uh, that's my goal in, as I'm sharing with you. So um, today's lesson 
127 is there is no love but God's. My wish for you is that you experience that today. Even just for a moment to the depth, to somewhat of the depth that they're speaking of here. And wishing you much peace and love. Please like, please comment, please share this video out. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. There's no charge for the subscribing. And um, for those of you who have subscribed, thank you. Thank you. This, this community is building. And um, as Spirit um, directs me, there'll be more and more coming um, to this channel in time. It's a step-by-step -step growing process for me as well. So, all right. With that, um, you have a peaceful, love-filled day. And um, I will see you in the next video for Lesson 128. All right. Much love.